Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, agents. Mountie Curl back again to bring you the latest news for the division, and today we are going to talk about the state of the game. We're going to go over some of the highlights and talk about them, and then answer your questions of what some of these mean. So, let's go. Alright agents, so really quick, let's get this out of the way. There was a patch last night, or May 4th, whichever you are reading this, uh, and pretty much just the patch notes for that is just they fixed the daily missions. That's pretty much it. So apparently someone at Massive was not aware that some months have 30 days and some have 31. It's a pretty easy mistake to make, uh, and considering this is the second time that it's happened, I'm pretty sure having 29 days in February probably this was probably the same issue some people didn't realize 29 days in february instead of 28 this month there's some slight errors on the you know calculations there damn those months with variable days ah oh, curse you all right so let's get into the state of the game and the 1.2 patch notes as opposed to the incompetence of the people at massive now this is just an abbreviation of what they talked about so if you want to get the full skinny head over to the twitch feed and watch the full video but i'm i'm actually going to be straight with you with this uh so you're going to get a more truthful version here and more speculation here as opposed to the bullshit that they're kind of saying over there so 1.2 patch they are currently testing the patch and while they haven't announced the release date they have said probably before the end of the month so at least that's what my sources have told me before the end of the month it sounds promising but mounty carl i won't have the required gear score to do the new incursion well bud luckily that was talked about as well they are bringing a new dark zone area for 200 plus gear score agents with tougher enemies and better loot drops even the promise of 240 gear sets can drop and 204 weapons. Now, I'm going to take this with a grain of salt because the drop rate right now is pretty garbage. And the drop rate for these new items that will be 240 gear sets and 204, I'm looking at like maybe a 0.00001% for the 240 gear sets and maybe a 0.002% for the 204 weapons. And the rest will probably be 163 and 182 just like it is now. And... It just seems to be the trend at Massive to overpromise and underdeliver, and basically to announce stuff and have it be just complete and utter bullshit. So you can see where I'm skeptical, since they do seem to have lost a bit of reality, as they said with 1.1, that they took the focus off crafting. Now they said that this time, they, they conceded that the focus was off crafting. No it's not. <clears throat> they, they lied. They, they seem to think that it is, but no, they just made it harder to craft. The focus is still on getting crafting materials, getting garbage drops in the DZ and breaking them down, with literally less than a 1% chance of getting anything useful. So the incursion for 240 gear did take a bit of the focus off crafting for better gear, but it's still easier to craft better gear and ignore the incursion, because the incursion is garbage. So hopefully they do a better job with the next incursion that people actually want to play it. So one thing they did mention, which is why I believe that most of the drops will be garbage still, is that the 200 DZ bracket will only drop high-end golds. Now, that says to me, they, they basically said it's not going to drop greens, it's not going to drop blues. They didn't say anything about purple, so it, there's still a chance it probably could drop purple. But for the most part, they said only high-end golds will be dropped. And so what I'm envisioning is, you know, Mountie Carl sees is bosses will drop 1A2 gear score for the most part. That's going to be the, the bulk of the stuff. Not going to get you over 200, and 182s are pretty much useless at this point, with a chance of maybe a 191 and a 204 piece here and there. Now, bosses uh, that are out in DZ6 will probably be dropping the 240, 214 gear score, but will it be worth it? They're going to be level 34, because they said anything in the 200 plus bracket is going to be 32 to 34. So basically all the way down in the... Uh, DZ1, it's, you're going to have your 32 armed enemies, and all the way up to the DZ6, you're going to have 34s. So, you know, this is, uh, it's, this is yet to be seen. And since it won't happen to the 1.2 patch, Massive is basically saying there's no reason to play this game until then. I can give you a few reasons. They, however, cannot. But I, I can give you, you know, you can play it. But it's only going to be worth the crafting materials and stocking up on those. And if you're under 200... 
my next video, I'm gonna help you get to 200. That's that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a video basically outlining what you need to do to get to 200 before the next uh, before the next incursion uh, drops, before the next patch. So if you're under 200, you may want to start trying uh, with the 204. Uh, gear sets in the DZ and work your way off of those. Craft those 214 mint pieces, uh, and you should have you should be on your way to 200. Easy enough to do. Just run the incursion a few the the easy incursion, the hard road and stuff like that. Get the 214 drops, then 204 weapons in DZ2. There's also some D, uh, 204 crafting items in DZ3 that you can go ahead and do. Craft those up. You should be well on your way. Anyways, I'll post a guide about it. Forget I said anything. I'll just post a guide about it and help you out. Now, with the 1.2 changes, they are basically saying that it will fix the the Reckless perk and the One is Numb perk, so there may be a reason to swap those chest pieces out for a mint, or something else finally, instead of running a four-piece sentry with Reckless chest and Savage gloves. I would not count out a fix for mobile cover as well, but they didn't talk about that. So pretty much if they don't remove mobile cover in 1.2, you can pretty much assume it's going to be in there. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's talk about the good news. They said we'll be fighting over supply drops. Well, what does that mean? Well, I probably laughed at the hardest of this, or I laughed hardest at this, whatever, however you say it. But who knows? Maybe they will have some changes that will make supply drops worth it. We'll see. It's a good remark, but actions speak louder than words. They've said, oh, well, you know, they're going to do spectacular things in the past with 1.1, and what happened? They shit all over everybody. So they did say we'll return to the love of PC PvE as well. And that would be a nice change of pace because, you know, nobody's really doing a PvE unless you're under, you know, level 30 and you're looking to really do that. But they're looking to reinvigorate the PvE areas for those people who enjoy PvE and not PvP. So the other good news is they said they won't be nerfing anything. That's, that's great. They won't be nerfing anything. They'll only be buffing anything. So it looks like SMGs will be left alone, but they'll, making other, they'll be making other weapons more viable by buffing them. Maybe adding perks like bonus crit to the assault rifle and LMG weapon classes. That would be great. That is a good start. Good start in the right direction. The one weapon perk people will be sad to see fixed is balance because nobody really knew it was broken up until this point when they said, oh, it's broken. So that's kind of sad that they're going to be making uh, balanced a fix. And so basically the way balanced is going to work is when you shoulder the weapon, it uh, works faster. So basically, and I'm going to stop using that word basically. Uh, you need to just shoulder the weapon, shoot once, shoulder the weapon, shoot once if you want to get the perk for balancing. And so we'll close out with this. I don't really see an issue with the way balancing works. Balance apparently was only intended for when you shoulder a weapon and you do one shot. After that, it's not really intended to be working. So that's pretty much the gist of, you know, what they're going to fix. We'll have more information on this as the next few weeks go by. We really want to cover the incursion, what's going to be coming up, and see what happens. So anyways, that is my time. Thanks for sticking around, and if you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section. I'll try to answer you, because I always love uh, engaging with my fans and people who have questions about this. Uh, I have a lot of friends who come to me and ask questions about the uh, division and how to get better perks and how to get better crafting supplies and basically how... See, I said it again. I'm trying not to say basically. It's killing me. Anyways, uh, also something I don't want to keep saying. Anyways, 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 ah, I'm killing myself. But I just want to keep doing this. So we're going to keep going back. We're going to be doing the incursion and trying to help you out. Get ready for the incursion. I know in my last, right before 1.1 drops, I gave you some ideas as to how to get ready for the incursion i will do the same with this one so that you can get your gear score up over 200 so that at least you can go through the 200 dz bracket and be prepared so that has been my time as always i am mounty carl and you've been watching a let's talk on the division for gun brothers gaming agent out Their main source of napalm out of commission. The cleaners are going to be a lot easier to deal with. A lot of people on the streets are going to owe you their lives, whether they know it or not. Good work.